Hey everyone, it's Freaks, and today we are going. I'm going to try out a doodle chat with you guys. Um, basically, I'm going to doodle some stuff and, and fill up my sketchbook while I talk to you guys about a topic. So this week, I'll be sketching two, two things, and they're gonna be in gouache because I wanted to try out some color palettes. Hope you like them. And yeah. Today's topic will be about how we can learn to love our art. It sounds pretty mundane and like we shouldn't even there shouldn't even be a topic about this, but I think it's very important, especially for beginner artists and artists who are just starting out and trying to figure out their way and trying to come up with a style of their own. But of course, it also applies to every artist out there. Um, if you have this problem, then I here are some of my thoughts on it. Um, I realize that many artists don't like to say what to say that they are happy with their work. It I can I see it everywhere. I see it online. I see it face to face. As in, my friends who draw say it too. And I think that's not very nice. I mean. Why do you depreciate your own work? Everyone, I feel, is allowed to be happy about their own work. I think a lot of artists, um, when they get complimented on their art, the first thing that comes to their mind is things like, oh nah, I'm not really good, and things like that, when I think all they should say is thank you. Like thank the person for thinking that your art is great, and accept it. I think learning to accept the compliment from other people is a really um, big step in terms of loving your own art. I personally have friends who like to compare their art to mine and not in a bad way. I mean like they always come and tell me that the moment they see me drawing they feel um, that their art skill is inferior compared to mine and I really really don't like it. I. To me, I feel that there is no such thing as bad art, there's only different art. And I really don't like it when my friends tell me that their art is worse than mine, or mine is better than theirs. It's the opposite of when someone tells you that your art sucks compared to them. That that sucks too, I mean. But this, I, I love it when my friends draw. I love watching my friends draw, so it really hurts me when they say that my art is better than theirs I, I just want to shake them and tell them that their art is great too It's but sometimes I know it's not an artist's nature to accept a compliment because I don't know, It's is it community pressure or things like that that they are not, they feel that they are not allowed to be happy about their own work because um, something like it makes them sound proud it makes them sound um, conceited it makes them sound like they're full of themselves when I think that in fact learning to love your own art is a great step in being able to improve because if you look at your art and you can and you figure out which are the good parts you can take note of those and that's how you improve yes okay Maybe your skills aren't as polished as your friend's art or an artist you see online, but that doesn't give you the right to bash your own art. I mean, your art is a part of yourself. It's an expression of what you feel, uh, what you think. So I think you should treat your art as you treat yourself. If you love yourself, love your art. I also think that art should be appreciated um, overall and not just on the artist's skill it could be a really nice thought a really good um, ideation process behind the art but just because the artist is lacking in skill people think that that piece is not as good as someone as one from an artist with um, who has a lot of experience and has drawn things and has drawn for a really long time so yeah I think that the main point that I want to make is that you have to accept 
that all art is beautiful and unique in their own way and that there is no such thing as bad art. I actually wanted to talk about this topic because of some challenges I faced last year. Last year was a really bad year for my art and as well as my school because whatever I felt about my art translated to my school life and it just wasn't pretty. It started off because I felt like I wasn't getting as much validation of my art online as I used to have. I tried to tell myself that it was because um, people don't go on that social media anymore and things like that but it somehow didn't help and I felt really like um, my self-esteem plummeted and it really affected every aspect of my life because I felt so horrible about my art it I couldn't do my work right I felt horrible about my work as well in school I felt like I was doing everything wrong and when the marks came back they reflected that I was doing things wrong but I couldn't um, figure out what I was doing wrong it was just a continuous cycle and then I wanted to de-stress de from work and so I drew but even when I drew I felt like everything I drew was horrible wasn't up to my standard I couldn't improve I was stuck in a rut and it was just it just went on and on and it just got worse it took me forever but in the end I managed to convince myself to just let it go it was a difficult process and it was really long it took me a very long time to adjust to it at first I just went on a break and I thought a break would be enough but it wasn't enough when I came back I still felt the same way so after that I managed to just tell myself that this is something that is really affecting my life and I don't want it to affect my life because it's not what I need to concentrate on right now. What I need to concentrate on right now is my studies. And I mean, all this was at, like, at that point of time, meaning last year. So I thought that um, letting my art affect my study grades was really, really not the way to go. So I just stopped posting I stopped um, doing anything on social media I just drew whatever I wanted whenever I wanted I stopped trying to keep up with deadlines for my followers I stopped trying to please people online as well I stopped trying to think of what I wanted to draw based on what thought people liked about my art and to be honest it was really liberating I started to improve again I tried many new things I started to like my pieces more and fundamentally I started to like drawing again I forgot I really forgot how it felt like to just enjoy what I draw and do whatever I want draw whatever I want and not have to cater to the people looking at my art. So if you're someone who is really affected by what you see on social media and how people respond to the things you post, make sure that these are positive because putting yourself in a positive environment will really, really help you in the long run and you will feel um, you will feel happy and rejuvenated every time you go online versus having to go online and have to cater to people's needs and not your own and you just feel so tired, so drained by the end of it that there's really, it just takes away the joy of drawing which is so so important in creating good art. To accept that art all art is beautiful, I know, can be a difficult thing. It's not easy, especially if you if you go to school and your art is graded. Um, I think to do this, firstly, you every time you see art, you have to tell yourself that every piece is unique. 
Don't tell yourself whether this piece is good or bad. Just that it's different. It's always different, not good or bad. Look out for parts in the piece that you like, as well as parts in the piece that you don't really like. Maybe it doesn't correspond to your style or things like that. But again, it's not bad. It's just different from your style. And for the parts that you like, um, take note of them. If you think you want to like try it out, or um, yeah. After you do this for a while, you'll be able to see art objectively and this can really help in your improvement because your feelings don't get tangled up in your judgement of the art and you won't end up having those moments where you sit in bed and beat yourself up for a seemingly bad piece of art. If you accept that your art is never bad, like every single piece that you do, even if you are not happy with it, it is improvement. It's everything that you draw is never goes to waste. Really. Don't think that, oh, I drew this and it's like really bad and um, it wasted my time. Nothing is a waste of time. As long as you keep practicing, your skills will get better and you will feel that, you know, you've improved and you want to improve more and create more art that you are happy about. Art is expression, you don't have to be good at it to enjoy it. It's just who you are, what you want to say to the world, so just enjoy it. When someone compliments you for your art, accept that compliment and thank them. They like your art and that's something to be happy about. Remember that everyone is entitled to be happy and like what they create. Lastly, if you draw what you love, you will love what you draw. And I think that's the most important point of all. I hope you guys have found this useful. Thank you for watching my video and I hope to do more doodle chats with you guys in the future if I like find something to talk about. Do leave a comment if you have anything to add to this discussion. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Bye!